in another incredible week of learning Musar Yaimi with his wonderful Hachzik program. We're in the middle of the fourth chapter in Sharab Yitachayin, page 141 in the art scroll, Chayvis Alvava Yisharab Yitachayin, in which Rabbi Nebuchadnezzar continues discussing Hishtadlus and how Hishtadlus is going to apply in day-to-day life. And now we're going to morph from the regular basic staples of life like we've been discussing, staying alive, being healthy, into perhaps areas which are a bit more difficult. So it says the Chavis HaVavu, Superior Shachelik HaSheni. And now let's go into the second category, V'unyani Kinyani Adam, which consists of items relating to Kinyanim, acquiring different items. V'sibois Tarfai, sources of livelihood, Parnasa, V'afne Asaka V'mizchar Melachama, Umelach, excuse me. And his involvement, whether it's uh, buying and selling, mischar, commerce, whether it's malacha, whether it's a certain craft that he does, v'halichos, whether it's transporti- transporting certain items, adrachim, uminu yashiros, management, hired work, all the different types of jobs, upikidais, being a clerk, v'avoyd zamalachim, working for the government, v'gizbaris, accounting, kablonas, v'amana, contracting, or lending on credit, the Sifras, writing, and all kinds of avaydas. So he just went through a whole list of different jobs that a person could have. Journeying in the Midbar, or journeying over the, or, or traveling in the waters, anything similar to that. Mimash and Misaskin, all the different occupations that were Misaskin, that we engage in, boy, Likavit's money, to gather money, Lahar boys, Maestre Hamichya. These are all things that people are doing not to have bread and water, not for the bare bone necessities, but rather for mis, for the, excuse me, Maestre, for the excess, for the luxuries. So, how do we understand this? The correct way, the Yashur Spahem Alolikim. The Bitochan in Hashem is she is asking Mashazimin Loy Habayri Mehem that a person should engage in these areas that Hashem that Hashem has prepared for him. Litzayah Sipuka Yimazaynai for that which he needs for his mazain for his food for his Sipuk for his sustenance. Ula Agiya and to get El Mash Yishboy Dai Min Oilam what is sufficient. For the basic necessities of that which he needs. Meaning, he's not working harder for the luxuries. He's trying to work for that which he needs. And then, if after I do my 9 to 5, I clock in, I clock out. I work at the occupation that Hashem has provided to me. And then, Hashem was geyser, Hashem decreed that I'm going to have to sefes, that I'm going to have extra. I'll come to me without any extra effort. I'm not going to have to stay up all night. I'm not going to have to hold 16 different jobs. Assuming that he believes, he trusts in Hashem regarding the access. And should not try to find extra avenues to get the extra income that he so wants. Nor should he rely on them in his heart. So a very eye-opening attitude to life. We work, we do what's needed, and if Hashem says here's more, that's fine. But that's not why we're working. We're not pushing harder. We're not putting in the extra hours just for the excess, just for the luxuries. And if Hashem doesn't decree that we should have, if Hashem decrees that we shouldn't have more, excuse me, then if you're going to be Mishtadl, you're going to work. You're going to think you're going to get another job. You're going to put in extra hours. You're going to try this. You're going to try that. You're not going to be able to meat. It's all whatever Hashem wants. So you think you're doing extra. You think you're pushing harder. It's not going to get you anywhere. And finally, says the Chayv Asal Vava, it's the most important takeaway. Now, when someone believes in Hashem, Yimse, what does he find? Menuchas li boy vishal vas nafshoi. If this is the way he approaches his job, then he's calm, he's tranquil, he's not running after everything. Because he knows that whatever he's supposed to have won't go to someone else. Nor will he get anything earlier, anything later, that which Hashem wants. Such an eye-opening approach to business, 
to work, to parnasa, psiat deshmaya, little by little, the more we focus on it, the more that we try to have this intention, the more that we'll be able to come to such a realization.